Good morning everybody, hope everybody's well. I have just got back from two weeks holiday. Excuse me because I need coffee. Excuse this, I have just thrown something on. I have got nothing in the house. I need to go and do a massive shop. But I need coffee. I got back late yesterday after travelling um, 12 hours on a National Express bus, which I don't mind, but um, people are so, so bad. Um, there was a couple trying to take a six week old baby on a bus with no car seat, so the driver said no. Of course he said no. Sorry about that, it's the coffee machine. Because he said no, and then um, we stopped for a 20 minute break and a family of four decided 35 minutes was good to stop, so that made us late, so we were late for everything. So of course I was late getting home, but I'm home. So I walked in last night, checked everything, dumped the washing into the washing machine, actually got a second load on, need to put the dryer on need to put the washing machine on again and I need to go and get food because I have nothing and I will show you what I mean by nothing there is a sandwich that I brought back which to be truthful I don't fancy and this I need to show you this now my son is a gardener that's not his job but he just loves gardening and he's, we've been eating, like, I've been at my son's for the last week. So we've been eating homegrown um, salad stuff and all sorts of um, courgettes and um, vegetables. And he's very clever. So he said, you need to take this home with you. I'm just taking it out the bag. Because this is the biggest bulb of garlic I have ever seen. It fills my hand. Look at that. How beautiful. It looks like there's only four cloves. I'm hoping there's more. But that little beauty. Now that looks tiny like that, but when I put it in my hand, it's just massive. That little beauty is going to get roasted. I'm going to pop you back there. So I hope you can see me. Let's just make sure. Oh, camera's drunk. So, it's breakfast time and I've got nothing to eat. I don't fancy an egg sandwich for my breakfast. Hey ho! Right, tablet time. Lots of it. I don't even know what day it is. It's Friday. So, this is my little morning routine. Tablets, vitamin, which is a cup, cup of oil capsule, coffee. Is so that going to get noisy? Because I'm going to put the dryer on. Go. Can we have dryer? I need to take some washing out the washing machine that was done last night. Which I'm going to fold in a minute. And I need to put some more washing in. You know what it's like when you um, come back off holiday. Oh, my camera is absolutely drunk it's traveled that much is that better i think it is and um, yeah i had three lots of washing which is not bad sorry i don't mean to be going out of camera all the time three lots of washing um managed to get two done well one during the night one just before i went to bed and um, i got one done because i was unpacking bits and pieces as you do when you get home And then um, one, just the white bits now to do. So 
So hopefully by the end of today, all the washing will be done. And I'm running out of all washing liquids and stuff. So that's on. So the washer's on, dryer's on, the telly's on. I'm a bit cold. Right, so when I went away, you come in with me. When I went away, it was like, when I went away, it was like um, late summer. I've been doing a month of travelling backwards and forwards to my brother was here from Australia and he had a caravan about 50 miles away, so I was travelling backwards and forwards some nights I stayed, so I wasn't really at home. Then we set off and went to Paris for five days, and then I got to London, and I said goodbye to them because they were travelling back, they had four days in London, and then um, they were travelling back to Australia, and I thought why go home and not go down further down south to pull to see my son and his family and I have had the most amazing week. So it was sort of late summer when I left. Look at it now. The garden's overgrown. It's autumn. Look at it. So if it dries up because it's actually been raining all night. If it dries up might just have to cut the grass. I can't see it drying up that well. It's miserable, it's cold. So, let's go and put the heating on. Oh, I'm terrible at this vlogging. Um, I'm hoping to vlog all day, so I'm going to put the heating on. I'm going to pop it on 20. Hope that warms it up. And I hope you're not getting dizzy, because I'm not very good at holding the camera. And um, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to be doing today. So let's turn around, look in the mirror. Right, today, oh, what a mess. I need a shower, I need to wash my hair. I've just stuck a jumper on. Actually, this is new. I've got a clothing haul to show you. It's a Primark haul and an Asda haul. Um, I need to go to all this this morning. I need to go and get tablets. That'll be good. Standing the chemist for half an hour. And I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but in my chemist, the people that are coming off drugs go and take their medicine every day. They get priority to everybody. So you can stand there for half an hour waiting for your prescription. No, I've got nothing against druggies, please don't think I have. But I do, I do object to standing there for half an hour because they're all coming in and getting their medicine. I didn't tell them to go on drugs. It's just It just annoys me. So... Um, yeah, so I need to go to the chemist. I need to go to Aldi's. I need to get some food because I'm starving. That egg sandwich is not going to do anything for me at all. Right, breakfast telly's on. And um, it's starting to feel a bit like home. Always the first day I'm a bit upside down. Yeah, upside down. Coffee. Excuse me while I drink. This is the meal that has been sorted. Uh, my phone's been on charge, I don't even know I've got anything. There's a shopping list. Yeah, I actually managed to do a shopping list last night. Coffee. Need coffee. Uh. I need to take those bad boys. I need to well, fold up this lot before it gets too creased, before it goes in the dryer. I was hoping that it might be a nice day and I could put it on the line. No, not a chance. What's that down there? Looks like a spider. Um, a bit chatty this morning, aren't I? Let's go back again. This is a lot easier, actually, than holding the camera to your face because you get awful angles. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Shopping, um, tablets, food. I need some breakfast. So, I'll be back. And then we'll go upstairs and we'll see what sort of mess I've made in the bedroom because I've just sort of undone the case and it exploded. And I need to put everything away, get sorted out, put stuff away. 
do a haul for you at the Primark haul because these are fun. We'll update you on the weight loss and um, take it next go in a little bit. I two two, two weeks ago yeah two weeks ago I put a pound on. I fully expected that. I've been out for meals with my brother. I wasn't going to spoil their um, stay and make bad choices but a pound on was pretty good over two weeks and um, we did Paris we did patissiers we did uh, kebabs and burgers and um, I was pretty good but I was pretty bad if you know what I mean I didn't go crazy but um I wasn't 100% good so when I got to my my sons my daughter's in-law is on Slimming World and to be truthful I loved it because we motivated each other and she put a lot of weight on and she was not in um, she was in that I can't be bothered stage which we all get and I tried to motivate she motivated me I we went to Slimming World she lost a pound and a half I lost two and a half pound I am so so pleased I have done lots of walking, we've been down to Lulwood Cove and um, we've done lots of walking maybe that's the exercise that's done it so I think maybe I need to make a conscious effort to do more exercise and um, I am only now four pound off losing two stone in weight and I feel wonderful I do have to go and have a diabetes review which means I will have to go and have um, blood tests so I probably think the end of this month will be my actual review my nurses don't know I've lost weight so that will be fun just walking in um, and letting them see that I've lost weight because they have been at me and at me and at me and I've done it well I'm halfway there four stone I need to lose um, I'm looking at myself now and thinking four stone it seems a bit much but we'll see um, definitely get to three stones so I've got two and a bit uh, two and a bit stone to go I okay, definitely get to three stone and then I'll decide whether I need to go any further um, but you know yourself how your body feels and at the moment I'm feeling good really good and I feel like I don't need all of my tablets so that's when the review is going to kick in so right coffee tablets bit of breakfast telly and then I'm going shopping see you soon Hi again, um, I've been shopping, I am shattered, I didn't want to go but I've done it and this is what happened. Lots of shopping, so this is Aldi but I did go to Heron's and I did go to the charity shop. Uh, one, I want to see if I could get a bag, I got that one and it was, can you see it, one pound. Um, it's just for going out. I don't go out very often and that's just a nice little black so shoulder bag. I really wanted navy but didn't get navy. And there's this. Oh here we go. I'm not good at showing clothes. It's just a black cardigan. It's quite long. Long sleeve. Ooh, really long. Um, it, that was only a pound as well. I got my medicines. I went into Heron, excuse me Sniffy, I've just come in, it's really warm because I've just paused the dryer but I'm on my last lot of washing now. Um, for natural mineral water, still four for a pound, which was a good price. Um, a pound on the flora light margarine. Some cooked ham for a pound, um, that looked quite nice and lean. And some mild cheddar, just for a pound. I uh, quite like that. I wanted some baby bells but I didn't get any because I didn't have any. So to Aldi's, uh, crispy fries. These are salt and vinegar plain cheese and onion. They are only four sins. Some teddy faces. They are four and a half sins. So they're nice to have if you just have a sandwich or a salad. The paper. I got two papers as well. Um, usually get the silver. I got the mirror as well. Better crossword in the mirror. <laughs> um, Right, British carrots, as you know, I've got nothing in, so I've had to start from scratch. So, carrots, British onions, British baby potatoes, British baking potatoes, British mushrooms, anti patriotic, uh, 
British broccoli, that was only 39p, it's on their Super 6. Little gem lettuces, cherry tomatoes, um, I'm quite liking cherry tomatoes at the moment. Um, what is it called? A red pepper? <laughs> and a very large cucumber. So that was it like for veg, apart from a stir pepper, uh, sweet mixed pepper stir fry. That's to go with some prawns. I got blueberries, I got green grapes, and I got strawberries, and I got nectarines because they look quite nice. I don't think they're quite ripe yet, but um, skimmed milk, I can last have my breakfast. I got some salmon fillets. I have got quite a lot of meat in, but these were on offer. Can't remember how much. Uh, lamb leg steaks, my favourite, as you know. Chicken thighs because I want to do a Caesar salad and I want to do an, a carbonara and I'm going to put some chicken in that with some um, bacon medallions. Uh, diced beef, I'm going to make a stew. See, I've actually done the meal plan as well. I'm so organised. Bag of bananas, a big bag. I quite, I'm really liking these. Single steam bags, there's carrot, broccoli and super sweet corn in there and they're really nice but the last bag I had I don't know if I didn't cook it properly, but the um, carrots are a bit hard and chewy. Might just boil them, not steam them. So, um, I got some mustard, English mustard, and I got a carbonara sauce. I'll have to see that, but I won't be eating the full jar. It'll be just like a quarter of the jar, so I'll freeze whatever I need to. A few things for baking. Corn flour I needed. I'm pretty certain I needed, so I thought I'd just get it. I got some pesto rosso. I wanted the green one but that's all I had. I got a stir fry which is um, a sweet pepper stir fry. I thought that might be nice with um, pasta just for a, a tea. Wheat biscuits, that's normal for me and six free range eggs and um, quite fancy an egg on toast. I got some couscous. This is tomato and garlic couscous. I don't think I'm going to like it. I'm not very good at trying new stuff but I thought I'd give it a try. It's coming up to Christmas time, so um, in October I usually make my Christmas cakes, so sultanas, I have got some other fruit, and down there is some cherries. I don't put nuts in it, I don't put mixed, that, that horrible mixed fruit stuff, hate it. And I got some uh, dry yeast because I needed some. Yogurts, mint, uh, banana and custard cherry and um, passion fruit yogurts. I got another thing of ham because I know I'll go through that one. There's only five slices in there. There's ten in there. I like this cheap ham. It's really nice. For I like I needed some more so I got the olive cook and so like not olive oil, coconut fry light and then I found this one. It's only a small one but it is um, garlic oil so that's nice for doing onions and stuff like that. Um, Warburton's 400 gram love, that's normal. Um, I, I've got a book just to show you the Super 6. They've got tomatoes, but they, I wanted cherry tomatoes. These are the bigger ones for 35p. Um, lettuce was 35p. The broccoli which I've got is 35p. They were had um, plum, oh beetroot, sorry, 35p. They had radishes, that was a, a really big bag of radishes for 35p. And celery for 35p. I just sat in the mood for beetroot and celery to be too full. It's too cold at the moment. I got another, as you know, I always get about 10 yogurts and um, light yogurts. The other ones are light as well. So the free on Slimming World, three vanilla, three orange with dark chocolate sprinkles. I do think they're half a sin each. I don't usually worry about that. And um, this is on offer as well. This uh, Power uh, Force. Foam. It's the 3-in-1 cleaner, it does grease, does bathrooms, does kitchens, it's on for 79p, really nice and it's ocean fresh and it smells lovely. As usual, some wipes, I go through these like I don't know what, bought myself some roses, such a pretty colour. I've actually gone away for two weeks and left some flowers on the table and you know, they'd only just died so they did well. Anyway, those were £2.9p, there's about a dozen roses. Dozen roses? I don't know, it doesn't say. Um, but they should last at least seven days. And softest luxury um, toilet paper 
again I've got the better one that was £2.49 for nine um, toilet rolls that's it that's the shopping I have got now to finish the drying so I'm going to put that back on and I'm going to put this away I'm going to get something to eat because my belly thinks my throat's cut and um, I'm going to then try and unpack I have had to set the computer up this morning the laptop because that went with me I've had to set it up to do some printing that I needed to do and so the bedroom is like a tip so that needs doing so this first and I'll see you in a while so finally finally got some breakfast even though it's lunch time so I've got two wheat biscuits in there I've got some strawberries and banana and it looks amazing and um, I had some lovely breakfast continental breakfast while I was in Paris <coughs> and breakfast again at my son's um, but this is my favourite I would have willingly not had any continental breakfast and just had this but they don't do Weetabix and they didn't do strawberries and they did do banana so I was living on croissants and, and um, boiled egg and meat and things like that which was lovely but this is my favourite breakfast and I have this every morning throughout the year sometimes I'll go to porridge when it's really cold but and coffee as you know I love coffee in a Christmas cup why not why not hi I'm back I've been shopping and um, I've had to get changed because the house is so warm you know what it's like the first day back it doesn't feel like home and um, the heating's been on and it's now warmed up and I'm roasting so um I have you've probably just seen my shopping haul so that's been done I am gonna put a stew in the oven and um, just because I've got some stew in me and I can freeze what I don't eat so I'll probably I might eat most of it within a couple of days so I'm um, that's what I'm gonna do then I'm going to tackle the suitcase so let's go and have a go at that so here we go um I will probably speed this up so be interesting file that can now go away for about six years hope you can see it and um, my daughter wore this when she was pregnant she borrowed it and it's just getting to the stage where it's a bit big so it might have to go but I do love it it's got like a an under an underskirt and it's just gathered slightly here but it's so pretty and it washes as I say six years not one every day obviously but I love this one I've just got a few things that I bought in pool I hope the lighting's all right it's a bit bright um I loved this little lighthouse there was a shop on the pool key I don't know if you can see it and it was selling things off this was just 195 but I thought it was so cute and he's good in the bathroom I took a handbag with me to Paris and um, and I took an over shoulder one and it was it was one I'd got from everything five pounds and it's in one of my vlogs and it was like sticky when I got it I've not used it, took it with me, I hated it, I was going to leave it for the cleaner uh, because I didn't like it at all and um, 
when the keeler came on the final morning, just before we were leaving, he was a really, really big black man. And I'm so glad that I didn't leave the handbag. I'd actually done a little thank you. This is for the cleaner. I did it all in French. I brought it back with me and it's now gone to a charity shopping pool. So I ended up buying this. It was 10 euros and it is basically just a, a bag but it's got a long strap and it's got a pocket in the back like that which has got all memory stuff in and um, tickets and things like that and I like to keep everything. It's then got um, a big pocket with big pocket there with um, a pocket and then the other side I thought it was all in one until I actually looked at it the other side it's got a big pocket this was great for cameras um, purse all the things that you needed um, that small perfume and all the bits and pieces that I needed uh, in the front there's um, a good pocket there and then there's a small side slip that was great for tickets and things like that and then a phone thing so for about nine pounds something this was a great little bag and I will use this for traveling quite often I have this purse which is just a black coin purse there's a few bits a few euros left in there and um, I usually use this transition it from one purse to another I usually put all my English stuff in here and my euros or like Australian dollars when I was there in my real purse and then just change it back so um, these will go, now go in these coins will now go in the money box and they'll be for Esme to play with as she does uh, so that will go away and that's it and um, I'm now going to if you can see over there that is a pile of knickers that I'm going to fold So I'm now, sorry about that, do you know I've got this top and I love it, it's so comfortable but it's getting so big and everything's dropping, it shows the bra. This is what my desk is looking like, it needs a good tidy but it's not so bad, everything needs dusting so I think there's a power hour. Cleaning video going to come up, this lot needs putting away now, these are what I've just shown you and as I say I'm going to do some editing. So, I'm going to get on with that now. So, I'm just waiting for these film to load up. So, there is, um, coming up, there's going to be um, Primark Hall. There will then be the caravan that my brother and sister-in-law stayed in. Um, it's just a caravan tour but it's so beautiful there's then going to be a few vlogs of East Yorkshire where we went and then there will be some Paris ones and then there will be a few just a few of pool and um, so quite quite a few coming up I'm not going to do them all at once so gradually over the next couple of weeks so I hope you've enjoyed this this vlog um, there might be a little bit more stuck on the end, the stew that I've made and um, I might pop that on the end of this and um, that's in the oven and it smells amazing, absolutely amazing. I've had my breakfast but that's all I've had today and I'm starving but I'm going to wait until later and be a good girl and just have my stew and yes it will have thick gravy but that's okay, it's not too bad. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope everybody's okay and um, thank you to my new subscribers which we've actually got a lot over the last couple of weeks and I have really not put that much on so thank you for subscribing thank you to my people who are always here you're so welcome and thank you for the comments I love reading your comments I will be back with more vlogs so I hope you're all okay bye for now this is the stew that I made it's basically potatoes, carrots, onions, mushrooms and gravy I've just warmed it up in the microwave that's why it looks a bit sloppy in there and I'm having 
a mint chocolate yogurt after it. Pretty good slimming world, except the gravy's a bit thick, but that's fine. Bye.